Yo, yo. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, so, we about to complete the Essex arc right now. Um, I was looking at it, bro. I think uh, Sussex and this area, we probably going to do the last. Uh, Windcrest, we probably could do. Um, but there's also, we still have this place to do. Glow. Uh, we still have Lincolnshire to do. Um, what else we got? We still got this area to do. God, leave why is it zooming in? Still got this area to do. And we still got your your Vic to do. So we still got a lot. And I just realized that Frankio is a DLC. Asgard is a DLC. This one, when you do it, you have to uh, drink the potion with Valka or whatever. So that's a DLC. Bro, this is a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot. But it is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we're gonna start up this Essex shit. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Dad, beer stand. His household is as poorly run as his land. Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Pearson, the elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home. But his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Damn, beer stand. He's right. Not they ran out of ale. Oh, no. This street is a good one. Ale, man. Far better than he deserves. We're running you out of ale. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife. You! Gods will come at one cry from me. Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. I bet. Oh, another cutscene? Question mark? Essex. Oh, I was also doing like some show off camera. Um, Patience is a god. Ravi and Eivor have a fair. They like each other. Oh, dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land with or without. Okay. Let's go find old buddy. All right, we're here, kiddos. Y'all can wake up now. A fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. Oh, shoot. They were caught off guard as they supped. Yeah, so we probably just do Lincolnshire next. I'm just thinking about it. I still got to clear out the other areas. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. By a bear. Yep. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Bjerstam still lives. Skatan Sura. Show me. Yeah, I see the bear over there still. Pearson, ready your weapon or accept your fate as a piece of bears. Oh, for the, uh, I realized that I've been, I could have used uh, a second weapon the whole time with the um, sword. I didn't realize the sickle. Okay, the sickle. The death, worthy one. Now then, what was this? Ha! Your weapon strikes true. 
How the f- Well fought. I would not have survived this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I'm Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls in a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the Savage Claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. We lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. What happened, but... Oh, y'all see me walking with y'all elderman. Are y'all still gonna try to attack me? That's what I thought. Shut up. Burst. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love. And a piss poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship. Pearson. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow. My eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, the crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Biston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. Oh my God. No, he when they do this. He disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beerston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Are they men or babes? 
If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah. We should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight! Yes! Fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? He should put his own ham fist in his purse, and contribute coin to the festival. Yes! You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own coin, then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Refuse to send your men. Let Alfred's people die for his hopeless cause against the Norse. Then we refuse. Refuse our king? Has madness taken your wits, Beerston? There. Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerston. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Beerston. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beerston. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! She does as she must. As do I. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. I notice your love has gone sour. Was it fresher than this? <laughs> there is so little difference between love and hate, it's difficult to say where the sourness comes from. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Does your god not allow husbands and wives to part? Our god? Our king? There is much standing in the way of a joyous uncoupling. Ours was an arranged marriage, a political need, and not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Francia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvada, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pair. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her. 
Bring her to my lakeside cottage and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Molden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Bro, what kind of love story should they got me doing, bro? <laughs> There you are, Eivor! Over here! I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You've lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. Have you always missed Frank here? I have. Or rather, I miss the woman I was when I lived there. Somewhat freer and more hopeful. And what of our plan, the great Lama's kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. Alright, Estrin. My bad, yeah, I found no sound. Who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders, he says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. Shit, but I really want to go to Norway. Or Romanian, but I need me a Romanian girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not playing. I need me a Latina. Where to everything. I thought that was him. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. By force of persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lammas Festival. Uh. Oh no! Uh. Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolla. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! We found your camp! Yeah, I might have to censor that shit out, I ain't gonna lie. No one's out here now! Surrender! Roll the imprudent! I need you! Okay, Shoney Yiddies. Come quietly or die, Lackbeard! I'm trying to end you with black dogs! We, we might be good. I don't know. 
Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Avo of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. Stand up, way back. Where's the. Where's the. Golly, bro, why'd I say far? Well, I'm trying to do everything before we go CC group. <laughs> what is this? Why are my people. It's worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and... Gerhild, is it? Aye. Rolo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. You weren't here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy, but of Estrid or Rollo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. That's all for now. You are drinking. Lordic, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite. An ambition always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. He was tired of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. I have what I need for now. You were drinking and whoring, Rollo. The Saxons attacked us. Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lord did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lorik said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. On second thought, perhaps there's more to be learned. You were drinking and whoring. Oh, no, no, bro. This is tough. And these two were... Lorg. I have what might find some evidence to test their stories. Yes. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two All right, this nowhere to be found. Moments. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lorg served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. Found more real quick. No need to hunt when the camp is full of fresh kills. Okay. What if they both working in cahoots? That'd be insane, actually. 
Eis drauf haben. Gerhild, können wir sprechen? Again? Lorik accused you of treachery. He saw you with a Saxon. Lork? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. You're lying. I found racks and racks of game. You've got more wit than your face suggests. I went to meet a lad from a nearby village. Rolo's not the only one who dallies with locals. That's all for now. Lorg, you're lying. I found a rack full of game nearby, enough to feed the camp for days. Told you! I was hunting! Stick to that story, and I'll tell Rolo to take your treacherous head. I was sleeping in the forest, wasn't I? Heard Saxons tramping through the trees, so I hid. Not fool enough to face him on my own. I have what I need for now. I don't know, bro. This is weird. Is there any more clues that we could look at? Let me see. Before we touch a Rolo. I think dude wouldn't be lying about seeing her with a Saxon. Have you made your decision? Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Gerhild betrayed you. No, that's not true! Rolo, I beg you! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beat pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. Always knew that it was something wrong about her. <laughs> Spare me your sullen words. My <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's crazy. I definitely felt like it was her. It was something. Yeah, there was something like about her that didn't seem right. Even over there. Best not to draw attention here. Set that trap. They're probably down below. I'll bring the bell. Oh, roll up a little? I didn't expect him to. More days out here. I don't care, bro. We're going in hot. Come on, you lot. Caged. There's nobody in there. Oh, he's dead. Where's that? This shit the other day. I low key forgot where it was all at. Why did I try to block that? Good kill. My sword will bring you sleep. Pick him on, Rolo. Or I shouldn't have him. May Fenrir gnaw on your bones. I wonder if there's more. Okay, he's done so. 
eradicate the camp. Oh, those are more enemies. Let's go pick dude up over here. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Oh, come on. Oh, my thanks, Oh, you know me, innit? Come on, dude. I really don't feel like climbing right now. Bro. Where's the other dude? Up? That person is still there over there. Bro, how'd you get all the way over here? <laughs> Yeah, you're dumb. Where's that? Where's that guy at? I oh, shouldn't even do that. <laughs> climb, maybe we're climbing. Climb, maybe we're climbing. Or don't climb. Bro, how did I miss three arrows, bro? Come on, son. Yeah, I'm trying to kill him or not. Hey. Oh my gosh, there's one more. Bro, how much? Rolo's men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted than this. Whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester. On the night of the Lammas Festival. Alright. That's Dunsky. So I gotta be this house man. Where she at, B? Where she at, B? All right. Someone was interrupted preparing the supper. Taken or fled. Oh, I see. A second bed. Alvida doesn't live alone. Alvida. Alvida. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister. That's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Why did they take your sister? Some of Alfred's men beat a child of the village for stealing bread. My sister would not stand by and see injustice done. Do you know where they're holding Olvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. Alright. 
Golly. What the f uh, He didn't want to peek his head. No freaky deaky. Cool, 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 cool. Boy got some big ass first time. You know what's crazy? I forgot I, I, I got that skill. I feel elite now. So she's in their ski. This must be Pearson's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. I will need to find a key. No, we don't, because we did what? this earlier. Why is this? You're not one of them. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to oh, save me? Shoot. A friend. Of Elrich's? Is he all right? The poor boy? Not your brother. Someone else who wishes to rekindle a, a friendship. All right, but I don't remember where we came from. We should be. Go Oh my god. Hold it down real quick. That I hope you don't see us over there. And just like that, we should be good. All right, I guess we got wrong with her. Bro, what's up with you, bro? Outfit though. It's where I had to say it. Who else, who else wants to go to Norway, man? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Holy moly. Holy moly donut shop. I, at this point, I don't even think this shit is even worth it. Cause we right there anyway. It's much faster though. Much, much more faster. Safe. Bro, I hate her oh, days. Come on. Put her down, bro. Rest now. Soon you will be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teat. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I'm here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife, Estrid, returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the elder man... Oh, God, help me. 
I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He'll come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he'll ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Give her time, Birsten. A passion rekindled in haste will soon fall to embers. Of course. You are absolutely right. And we have a lifetime to recapture what was mislaid. I hope it will not take that. And this young lad is Elleridge, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elleridge, I'd suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Beerstone, I cannot believe- Alright, bro. They got me doing too much, I ain't gonna lie, but it is what it is. How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrid, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Hmm. It's hogged it that it shall sit him mid anfeld of your wave. Missing to fell at the weird can it that it's only to fell for the misery to your face. Ah. Where's she at? Oh, she over there. Oh, we got lucky. I wanted to wear a garland of meadow sweet in my hair. Why am I so weak in my hair? Hey, just blend in real quick. Talk to you. Hmm. Put an arrow in the dog. Uh, here we go with this F3, bro. Let's end this. Oh my god. Call the yeoman. Bro? Taro. Stand down, you Saxon dogs! The Lady of Essex is ours! Yes, thank you, Rolo. Get him out of there, Rolo.
Why is she lying? Talking about some guards. You're coming with me. Oh, oh, desist, you foul Dane. Guards, oh, woe unto me. Put me down. Odin's beard. You wouldn't fool a child with that howling. Unhand me, fiend. I'm dead. Will none of you Saxons save me? Why, 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 why? Come here, boy. Mm. Too tight. Come here, boy. Hold that. Madam, let us go now. Now you, your time is come. Unhand me, you filthy Dane. Vilsan, my love, my love. Come back here, come back here, come here, right now. Bro, you. Oh my God. That's why. With me. Oh, yo, these dudes are actually annoying, bro. They just keep pulling up. Feel my breath on your neck. Stupid. I be left alone now. Come horse, come, come. Oh, I shall faint from the sheer horror of it all. <laughs> no, no, bro. Carry ice cream, bro. Come on, man. Where's Rollo in that man? We are safe enough to walk, I think, aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess, it did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? It is done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Beerstens will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate. Let's get you some mead. Beerstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like. Away from these reveling Danes. Thor's thunderous! You should find Beerstan. No doubt he's hunting again. <sighs> Where about you? Yeah, I don't care. That's your one. I challenge to you. You want it, shorty? A man, his dog, and the outdoor. Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked. Yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut-tut. 
The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! Ah, uh, Bo, come on. We bring us wood. But how do you say this hunt? Do you want to sit on the chair? Come on. You want to say anything? What are we hunting Ever. now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebold. How wondrously strange! Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress? Birsten, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear, I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas, will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. Hurry up, Beerston. God, leave. Walking hella slow and shit. It don't make no damn sense. Oh my god. How much of them we gotta kill? Bruh. Come on, the feast table won't fill itself. Well, no shit. Bro. Hopefully you got killed three. All right. There we go. Oh, we gotta kill more. Oh, forgot Sunan does that for me. Thank you, Sunan. Other one Come on, the feast table won't fill itself. Oh, really? My bow arm aches. We did well. A good hunt, best. Even do I? And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I've been nothing but amused. They are a welcome change to warring yarls and piss sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beerston, the heart hound, who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. What are your plans for Essex and your family? Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet. A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that Lamish shadow play. 
Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you, and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still, his wife freshly stolen, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never! <laughs> my lord! Joyous news! God smiles upon us this very day! Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. Oh shit, that's not good. To tell you. I told y'all, bro. Alright, it's not good, it's not good. Roll low. Alfred's men have found you! What? How can this be? Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she is taken, all is lost for us and Beast. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! <coughs> Lork! Hold it now! Oh, yeah, it's time to get lit. Release the woman, Danes! She's on the Get your tight, stupid. Come here. Hold that. You hold that. There gotta be more. Yeah, too. There's no way it was that easy. No way it was that easy. Hold that. You hold that too. Shut up. I missed that one. Oh shit, they are not playing. Bro, I definitely. Do. Oh my god. He's doing No freaky. I see how much more people are here. Well, watch out, please. Stop that ship from sailing! Y'all not stopping shit. They are not playing. Get the last. We have this. Come here. I hate, th I hate this finisher move. Get up, get up, get up, hurry up. Come on, get up, get up. Hold that. Hold that axe. Get up, buddy. Come on. More sexy. Why? Why are we doing that? Get up, bud. Throw that one. Throw that one. Throw that one. dude up right here. Them boys is out of there now. I should where you at? No way she was just sitting like that. Eivor! Estrid, I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. 
Frank here awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty, and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Bjerstin got his end of the bargain, and Estrid is to Frank here. I should return to Randwy. Ah, oh, thank God. Ooh. Eivor. In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance, but... Let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. Alright, yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. The mic cut off again. Um, like I said, I don't know what's going on with this thing, but appreciate y'all. See y'all in the next video. Peace.